A night of celebration turned violent. Oh, they are not here. Around midnight on 13th Avenue near Indianola, the burning begins. I heard 13th Avenue was on fire. I came home, it's my car. There are midgets everywhere. They f***ed their car on top of mine. Caught it on fire. In a drunken rage, partiers bash in windows. They flip over cars and burn them, fueling the violence. Once the gas tanks were blowing up and you could feel the heat come through the door, that's when, you know, you really started getting a little scary. As cars burn on 13th, rioters move down the street to flip over another car. And the more the destruction, the more this crowd is drawn in. He took a piece of paper, he's like, I'm going to light this on fire. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and he just threw it in my car. I'm like, no, it's my car. And they just, and then go on. Rioting peaks around 1.30 Sunday morning and moves south to Chittenden where rioters pull doors off of homes to add to the fire. They chant from their balconies and turn up their aggression on police. No getting away from it. From the air and on the streets. Police move in in full riot gear. Go, 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 go! With tear gas and wooden bullets, police clear the streets in a 10-block area from High to Indianola by 4 o'clock Sunday morning. Firefighters douse charred cars, mattresses, and couches. And before daylight, once packed streets are deserted with a junkyard left behind. This is a shame that it had to end up this way. Ellie Merritt, 10TV Eyewitness News.